Hello, how are you doing today? In this chapter, we talked about polygons, we talked about triangles, and we will be talking about quadrilaterals. Remember, quadrilaterals are polygons that has four sides and four angles. Let's explore together. Let's open page 851 and look at our first vocabulary word, parallel. What does parallel mean? We know that some quadrilaterals have sides that are parallel or equal distance apart. So parallel means they are equally distanced apart. Take a look at these two lines. Both of them are equally distanced. They are pal parallel. They are opposite to each other, not only opposite to each other, they are opposite and equal to distance apart. If you take your ruler and you measure all the parts between these two lines, you will find them all exactly the same. Now, let's go through example number one together. The Eiffel Tower shown is in Paris, France. This Eiffel Tower, we all know that it's in Paris, France. Describe whether any of the sides in the quadrilateral aligned, outlined in green are parallel. Take a look at this quadrilateral. Are any of those lines outlined in green are parallel? Let's think about it. The top and the what sides are parallel? Yes, the top and the bottom sides are parallel. We have here a hint. If a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides, we call it a trapezoid. So if we have a quadrilateral that has one pair of parallel sides, what does it mean one pair? It means two sides, two opposite sides. If they are parallel, it means we call it trapezoid. So here, the quadrilateral outlined in green is a... Yes, it's a trapezoid. So, again, we said that quadri quadrilaterals that have sides that are parallel or equal in distance apart. So, parallel means equal distance apart. And here are some examples of a trapezoid. Look at these, look at the first figure. The top and bottom are parallel. The second figure, also the top and bottom are parallel. And the last one, the, the right side and the left side are parallel. Now, let's take a look at this figure. Before, let's read here. Some quadrilaterals have both pairs of opposite sides parallel. Those quadrilaterals are called parallelogram. So take a look at this parallelogram. All both opposite sides are equal. So we have two pairs, two parallel pairs. So this when we have all opposite sides are parallel, we call it parallelogram. What do we call it? Parallelogram. Also, parallelogram have the attributes shown in the table. Both of opposite sides are parallel. That's why they're called parallelograms. Opposite sides have the same length and opposite angles are the same size. So, there are three attributes about this parallelogram. Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides have the same length and opposite angles have the same size. Now, there are many kinds of parallelograms. You can qu classify quadrilaterals, including parallelograms, using the following attributes. So how can we classify our quadrilaterals? Using the side length, parallel sides and right angles. In a rectangle, we have 
four right angles. A rectangle is a parallelogram because all opposite sides are parallel. So, and the attribute of a rectangle is that it has four right angles. And we have a rhombus. A rhombus is also a parallelogram. And all the sides of the rhombus have equal are equal in length have equal length the last parallelogram is a square square has four right angles and four equal sides so a square and a rectangle both of them have right angles a square and a rhombus both of them have equal sides now turn the page and let's go through example number two together. You will need your centimeters ruler. We will be measuring each of these three figures, all the sides of these figures. When I used my ruler, the first figure, figure one, had a side, a one side of one centimeter. The second side was two centimeters. The third side was one centimeter and the last side was two centimeters. In figure number two, all sides had a length of one centimeter. And finally, when I measured the last figure, figure number three, also all the sides had a length of one centimeter. Now, let's answer the question according to what we've learned about the quadrilaterals. Which parallelograms have all sides equal in length? All sides equal in length. Let's go back to our table. We have figure 2 and 3. Now, which parallelograms have four right angles let's take a look here figure one and two so as we said before we have three types of parallelograms rectangle rhombus and a square a rectangle has four right angles a rhombus has four equal sides and a, per, a square has four right angles and four equal sides. So what is figure one? Figure one has right angles and four right angles. Does it have all uh, four equal sides? No, it only has four right angles. So figure one is a rectangle. What about figure two? Figure 2 has 4 right angles. Figure 2 has 4 equal sides. So figure 2 is a rectangle, a rhombus, and a square. Finally, figure 3 has all 4 sides equal. So figure 3 is a rhombus. Now, let's go through the guided practice together. Again, referring to example 2 to the three figures that we measured their side length. Describe three attributes that figure 1 and 2 have in common. The first thing is that they have four right angles. What else? Opposite sides are parallel. And finally, opposite sides are equal in length. Now, can you think of anything else? If you do, don't forget to send me on Class Dojo. Now, let's solve together number two. We need to check 
all the attributes that describe this quadrilateral. Now, how many opposite sides are equal in length? One pair or both pairs or all four sides same length? Yes, both pairs are equal in length. This side is equal to this side and this side is equal to that side. Now, how many opposite sides are parallel? One pair or both pairs? Yes, both pairs are par parallel. Now, how many right angles do we have? Zero, one, two, or four? Yes, we have four right angles. So what is this quadrilateral? It's classified as a rectangle. Now, finish the rest of the page and don't forget to send me on Class Dojo.